Oh boy, the fat kid in me is very excited right now because we are gonna be making hot chocolate and I have a bit of a sweet tooth. And today we're gonna be making three different recipes, all different and all delicious. And you know we're gonna be boozing these up a little bit. All right, let's get to it. The first one is going to technically gonna be a hot cocoa because it's made with cocoa powder. So get yourself some high quality cocoa and add two tablespoons or about 13 grams into a saucepan. Now because the good cocoa powder comes typically unsweetened, we're gonna have to add a little sugar. So add 1.5 tablespoons or 18 grams of granulated sugar. Pinch of salt's gonna help bring out some of that sweetness and then we're gonna add one cup or about 235 mils of whole milk. I've spent the last 10 minutes trying to think of a whisk joke and I have nothing. Just mix it up and heat it up. Once heated to a sufficient temperature, then you're gonna pour it into a mug that you bought for yourself. This is gonna make one serving, so no sharing with the kids, especially because we're about to boost this up a little bit with 1.5 ounces or 45 mils of a dark rum. And now this is optional, but highly recommended. Do about a quarter ounce or seven mils of creme de menthe, a mint liqueur. Throw on a couple marshmallows, and if you're fancy with a brulee torch, go ahead and fire them up. Oh, Whew. all right, boozy hot cocoa number one, cheers. Once you maneuver around the marshmallows, this is absolutely fantastic. It is thick, it is rich, the slight mint flavor is delicious. It is way better than any of that pre-mixed crap and make sure you leave no marshmallow behind. All right, we are moving on from hot cocoa to hot chocolate, specifically Mexican hot chocolate. You typically find it in these tabs. So we're gonna take one half tab or 46 grams, combine that with two cups of milk or about 470 milliliters. Heat that up until the chocolate is entirely melted and we're gonna pour it into one of these Irish coffee mugs. To get the fiesta going, we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of reposado tequila and then another ounce or 30 mils of this ancho reyes, ancho chili liqueur, which is delicious. Give that a quick stir and then we're gonna top this with some homemade whipped cream and this is super simple. Just take a shaker tin, fill it with some heavy whipped cream and then just shake it up until you stop hearing it slosh around. Then we're just gonna pour it over the back of the spoon on top like this. And that's gonna give us a nice little canvas to dust a little freshly grated cinnamon over the top. Okay, this is looking pretty tasty at this point. I wanna get my mustache in here. Let's give it a taste. Salud. And right away you're hit with that cinnamon aroma because of the cinnamon. And, oh God, yes, this is so good. So thick, it's just a hint of spiciness. You could probably even amp up the spiciness a bit with some chili powder if you wanted, but this is excellent. The ancho chili flavor is really subtle, but it's there and the tequila is very smooth. Highly recommend this one. All right, this last one has a special place in my heart because it revolves around one of my favorite liqueurs, the herbal green chartreuse, which pairs very well with chocolate. All right, let's get our cocoa going first. We're gonna need two tablespoons or about 26 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder, and then two cups or about 470 mils of whole milk. Give that a little pinch of salt and then bring the milk and cocoa powder to a simmer over medium high heat. And still no whisk joke. Then we're gonna finely chop four ounces or about 110 grams of semi-sweet chocolate. Here I'm using 70% cacao. Get all that good stuff in there and you could just sit here and wait for it to melt, but I say don't risk it. Go ahead and whisk it. Nice. Now here I'm gonna make some more whipped cream but using an EC whipper. Now you can use the same method as before, but here I'm gonna add one cup or about 230 mils of heavy whipping cream to the device. And then I'm gonna take the vanilla simple syrup from our hot toddy video and add about half an ounce or 15 mils. Now if you don't have this, you can use about half an ounce of simple syrup and maybe a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm also gonna hit this with about four dashes of black walnut bitters to give it some nutty flavor. We're gonna seal it tight, give it a little shake, and then add one nitrous oxide container. One more shake for good measure and then put that in the fridge. This will make two servings, so pour half the hot cocoa into a warmed Irish coffee mug. And to booze it up, let's add the green chartreuse, one and a half ounces or about 45 mils. Quick stir and then let's top with the whipped cream. The nitrous oxide charger makes this come out like Ready Whip. And it's gonna be a lot more firm than the shaker tin method. And if we didn't have enough chocolate already, let's just shave some on top of the whipped cream and give this a taste. 
This whipped cream is so thick, I basically have to take a bite out of it here, and wow, so good. The chocolate is unbelievably rich, and that herbal green chartreuse comes through really well. All of these drinks are excellent, but I think this one is the winner. And big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. First thing I noticed about the Raycon earbuds is that they're about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing. This here is their latest model, the E25, and it is great. It's got six hours of playtime, really seamless Bluetooth pairing, it's got extra bass, and a more compact design that has a nice noise isolating fit. It comes in a bunch of fun colors too. So I've been using these the past couple weeks and they're just fantastic. The fit is really snug and discreet. They never fall out when I'm running on the treadmill. And for how small and discreet they are, I'm just amazed at how much sound you can get out of them. Now, if you want to get access to Raycon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, just click the link in the description below. All right, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are looking to do any shopping for cocktail-related equipment or cocktail books, I have an Amazon page that links to all of my recommended equipment, and you can buy it through Amazon Prime. This includes my recommended glassware, ice ball mold, shaker tins, everything I use. Cheers.